It's tiny, but don't let its size fool you. New Mexico researchers are creating a new device to test what we're breathing into our bodies and how harmful it could be to our health. News 13's Lizzie Mitri shows you how it works. It breathes in and it breathes out. This device here is Pulmo, our artificial lung. These tiny pieces of plastic are all part of a project at Los Alamos National Laboratory that's been in the works for three years. A project that's miniature in size, not in significance. The model shows how the human lung reacts, what's bad to breathe in and what's not so bad. We want to provide a bridge between animal tests and human clinical trials. In um, animal testing, we don't always get the information that we need before drugs are used on humans. Sometimes animal tested drugs still harm humans. Soon, things we don't know much about, like new pharmaceutical drugs or even e-cigarettes, may be tested with this tiny artificial lung. Human cells are placed in the device. It breathes in whatever particles or toxin will be tested. Then scientists monitor how the human cells change. This is where the lung breathes in, and then each test takes about three weeks to a month. For now, scientists are making sure it works, testing things they know are bad for our lungs, like smoking and cancer drugs. But they're excited about the possibilities for the future. There's still so much more to be discovered about the human body and our human lung. In Los Alamos, Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. Lanel says scientists hope to eventually add an immune system to the artificial lung.